Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is HTTP. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in technology or you want to learn about it. So let's start. Friend, first of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, HTTP Hypertext Transfer Protocol is the foundation of the World Wide Web and is used to load web pages using hypertext links. HTTP is an application layer protocol designed to transfer information between network devices and runs on top of other layers of the network protocol stack. A typical flow over HTTP involves a client machine making a request to a server which then sends a response message. Now what is an uh, HTTP request? An HTTP request is a way internet communications platforms such as web browsers ask for the information they need to load a website. <coughs> Each HTTP request made across the internet carries which it a series of encoded data that carries different types of information. A typical HTTP request contain HTTP version type, a URL, an HTTP method, HTTP request header and optional HTTP body. <coughs> now what is an HTTP method? HTTP method sometimes referred to as an HTTP verb indicates the action that the HTTP request expects from the queried server. For example, two of the most common HTTP methods are GET and POST. A GET request expects information back in return usually in the form of a website while a POST request typically indicates that the client is submitting information to the web server such as form information for example submitted username and password. Now what are HTTP request headers? HTTP headers contain text information stored in key value pairs and they are included in every HTTP request and response more on that layer. These headers communicate core information such as what browser the client is using, what data is being requested. What is in an HTTP request body? The body of a request is the part of that contains the body of information the request is transferring. The body of an HTTP request contains an information being submitted to the web server such as username and password or any other data entered into a form. What's in an HTTP response? HTTP response is what web clients often browsers receive from an internet server in answer to an HTTP request. These responses communicate valuable information based on what was asked for in the HTTP request. A typical HTTP response contains HTTP status code, HTTP response header and optional HTTP body. So now what is HTTP status code? HTTP status codes are three digit codes that most often used to indicate whether an HTTP request has been successfully completed. Status codes are broken into the uh, blocks like 1xx informational, 2xx success, 3xs redirection, 4xx client error and 5xs server error. The xxx refers to different numbers between 00 and 99. Status codes starting with the number 2 indicate a success. For example, after a client requests a web page, the most commonly seen response having a status code of 200 OK indicating that the request was properly completed. If the response start with a 4 or a 5 that means there was an error and the web page will not be displayed. A status code that begins with a 4 indicates a client side error. It is very common to indicate encounter a 404 not found status code when making a typo in a URL. A status code beginning in 5 means something went wrong on the server side. Status codes can also begin with a 1 or a 3 which indicate an informational response and a redirect resp respectively. What are HTTP response headers? Most like an HTTP request, an HTTP response comes with headers that convey important information such as the language and format of the data being sent in the response body. What is an HTTP response body? 
Successful HTTP response to GET request generally have a body which contains the requested information. In most uh, web requests, this is HTML data which a web browser will translate into a web page. Uh, then HTTP hypertext uh, transfer protocol is the set of rules for transferring files such as text, images, sound, video and other multimedia files over the web. As soon as a user opens their web browser, they are indirectly using HTTP. HTTP is an application protocol that runs on top of the TCP IP suite of protocols which forms the foundation of the internet. The latest version of HTTP is HTTP 2 which was published in May 2015. It is an alternative to its predecessor HTTP 1.1 but does not it make obsolete. How HTTP works? Through the HTTP protocol, resources are exchanged between client devices and servers over the internet. Client devices send requests to servers for the resources needed to load a web page. The servers send responses back to the client to fulfill the request. Request and responses share sub documents such as data on images, text, text layout which are pieced together by a client web browser to display the full web page file. In addition to the web page files, it, ca it can serve a web server contains an HTTP daemon, a program that waits for HTTP requests and handles them when they arrive. A web browser is an HTTP client that sends requests to, to servers when the browser user enter file request by either either opening a web file by typing in a URL or clicking on a hypertext link, the browser builds an HTTP request and sends it to the internet protocol address IP address indicated by the URL. The HTTP in the destination server receives the request and sends back the requested file or uh, files associated with the request. The user types in the web address and the computer sends a GET request to a server that hosts that address that GET request is sent using HTTP and tells the uh, server that the user is looking for the HTML code and used to structure and give the login page its looks like and feel. The text of the login page is included in the HTML response but other parts of the page particularly its image and videos are requested by separate HTTP request and response. The more requests that are made for example to call a page that has numerous images the longer it will take the server to respond to those requests and for those the user system to load the page. When these request response pairs are being sent, they use TCP IP to reduce and respond, transport information in small packets of binary sequences of ones and zeros. These packets are physically sent through electric wires, fiber optic cables and wireless network. The request and response that servers and clients use to share data with each other consists of ASCII code, a request a state with what information the client is seeking from the server, Require responses contain code that the client browser will translate into a web page. So friend, uh, thank you, thanks a lot for watching the video, I hope uh, you like this video, if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video, thank you friend.